Hello YouTube, this is Shasko from Stem APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial and we're going to continue talking about OpenGL and how we can uh, create uh, objects and, and create other cool stuff. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about something that uh, probably you already know, uh, but just for those people that don't are not familiar with it, OpenGL went through some changes in the last... Uh, uh, actually, it's been going going through changes for the last 15, 20 years. And uh, not too long ago, there was uh, maybe five, six, seven years ago, there was a lot of, uh, most of the code out there was uh, called uh, Fixed Function Pipeline. And what that was, of this, it's, it's, been, it's on its way out now on newer versions of OpenGL, the train. Um, it's, it's on, the way, uh, on its way to deprecation, so that it's being deprecated as we speak. Uh, but I just, it's still supported in some versions of OpenGL. Uh, I, uh, the reason I, I bring it up is because the, you're going to see uh, code out there in the internet, and here they actually show you how to uh, how to uh, detect. Um, legacy code and uh, actually this is from the OpenGL from the Kronos group page here and it actually shows you ways uh, uh, it's telling you why there you know the differences and, and when it's going to be deprecated and, and, uh, and why and uh, how to detect it they actually tell you how to f look for certain things that, uh, that will give it away that is actually the older legacy code and I have a, a program here that is it is uh, it meets uh, the same uh, things that they were saying to look for and I just wanted uh, to show you how it works and then I want to show you a modern GL, OpenGL program so you see the differences okay this program right here is very uh, uh, what was good about the old uh, pipeline it was very easy, easy to use, very easy to manipulate. And uh, but the the new pipeline, the new um, I don't want to call it pipeline, the modern OpenGL and the shading system and the the use of shaders using vertex shaders, fragment shaders, it allows a lot more flexibility to the developer to uh, manipulate. Uh, directly on the GPU and that's why they uh, I hear that, that that's why they made the change to give uh, more flexibility more uh, more power to the developer um, and uh, I'm going to show you here how easy it was the other one to use and I'm going this is uh, is creating a, a polygon is beginning here and is creating these are the coordinates one two three and four coordinates but remember in OpenGL everything works uh, as a, it's, it's basically a triangle this one is a rectangle so it's basically creating uh, in the in the new OpenGL I will show you how it's using two triangles to create a rectangle but uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself let's just continue with this for now and the color is uh, kind of a grayish, grayish color, as you can see here. On the background color is a very dark gray, almost black. So it's very dark gray. And the the uh, the polygon itself, this the square, is going to be like a grayish color. And uh, here, what they're doing here. Is initializing. This is the main function, as you can see, creating the size of the window. Where is the window going to show? So 600, it should be showing more or less right around here. Uh, title of the window, initializing, and begin the loop. Okay, very similar to other things that we've done before. So just close it. Let's uh, compile it run it and there it is 600 by 600 more or less and uh, this is the background gray that I was mentioning 
and the lighter gray uh, for the rectangle. Now let's change the shape. Just wanted to show you how easy it is. That's why a lot of people liked it a lot. And now instead of uh, let's just do this one. This one, let's come with this one out. And let's take that one away. And then this, this. And now let's run it. Compile it. Run it. And this is a triangle. Same thing, same colors, nothing changed. You want to change the colors of the triangle and make it like a like a blue let's do it so all you need to do is find where the rectangle color is right here and this is how easy it used to be to work with this one um let's just make it a solid blue This also control X, close it out, compile it, and it should now be a solid blow. And there it is. Okay, and that's how easy it was. And that's this is the legacy code, this is the fixed function pipeline. Now we're not going to be using that, we're going to be but probably will use them in certain uh you know something simple and fast to show you a probably a concept but what we're going to be using is these uh sometimes called modern hop in gl and let's run this one so let me show you first so you see it and, uh, and there it is okay here is using the glue that we downloaded together. It's using free cloud and of course it's using the, the API for the GL. Uh, here, this is what is different. It's the use of shaders. They're called shaders and we'll talk more about shaders later. And I think it ends right here. This is the, uh, what is called the vertex shader. And, and what the vertex shader does is uh, it actually um, lets you uh, control where the polygon is going to be located and uh, basically it's the coordinates. The fragment shader is actually, uh, it allows you to color the pixels. Uh, so they work together hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. You can you can uh, you you give it a vertex, but if you don't color it, you cannot see it. So it's the same thing. In order for you to color a pixel, you gotta have coordinates uh, through the or vertices. So they work uh, hand in hand, and uh, this is a, a trend. And most of the time, a lot of I've seen a lot of the code now. They 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 don't like to put the shaders in, in all in one code, but they they break it into a vertex shader uh, little program and a fragment shader little program, and that way they keep it clean, and you have you know where everything that is shader related where to find it, and everything that is just the C plus uh, plus uh, main code uh, where to find it. So they keep it separate. And but this one is is just uh, I got it up from the OpenGL page and everything is together because it's the first tutorial. So as you can see, it's got the vertex shader, it's got the fragment shader, and don't worry about it if you do not understand what's going on here. We will explain in detail. But you can see there are some functions, and you just by the name of them you can deduce what they're doing. Uh, some of them are creating, some of them are destroying and deleting. This is your main, very similar to the other one. Uh, this is different. Uh, it's using RGBA with alpha uh, in, 
instead of the just RGB. And uh, it's using double buffers. The other one was using single. But it's the same thing. You, you create the name of the, the window that you're going to use. You give it a title. So let's call it... Uh, so you know how to do it. So let's call it Hello YouTube. This is my first triangle. This is my first triangle. And that will be the title of the window. And then running errors and just checking for errors and all that. We'll, we'll talk about all that. I just want to show you uh, an actual object being created. And then I want to change the colors also. So let's just close it. And now let's compile it using the same. Uh, these are new, but you saw me using them in the other tutorial. So just hit enter, hit compile, and now let's run it. And there it is. Same thing solid blue triangle, a white background. If you want to change the background and you want to change the color of the of the triangle, same thing. Very, you will not go into the vertex shader because that has to do with the coordinates. You will go into the fragment shader, this guy right here, and it begins right here. And the color, anything that has to do with color, is right there. So let's say the color of the let's let's make it um, right now it's solid blue. So just so you for a proof of concept, let's just run it and make it red now. And the background instead of white, uh, let's. Let's make it gray. Actually, let's make it black. So there's a huge difference from the one before. Let's just remember it was uh, all white and blue, and now it should be red and black. So close it and compile it, run it, and there it is red on black just like I said and uh, what um, and in in the title as you can see but uh, in the other tutorials we're going to uh, learn how to separate the shaders put them in a different file uh, make it a little bit cleaner go more in detail how to create uh, and how to manipulate these objects but this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial, please click the like box, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on GitHub and Twitter, and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.